So Beekling started in Western Canada as a very family-based company in Winnipeg with a fellow by the name of Joe Correa. And he grew it as far west as you could go and then we started moving east. You know, really from the outset, we've been blessed with just amazing people that have given their lives to grow Beekling. Our, our goal was to find good people and make them feel that they're part of an organization that cares more about just making money in a business. Our goal now is to make the world a better place in the little communities that we're able to influence. I want to thank you for this opportunity and I bring greetings to you from the Treaty 6 territory of the Cree, the Dakota and the Soto, the Anishinaabek and our relations, the, the Métis Nation. So I bring those remarks on, on behalf of our Treaty 6 territory. The relationship that we established with our Indigenous communities, our seven member partners at the Tribal Council, we've seen a family-owned business that had the same core values as our Indigenous communities and that attracted us. Uh, with respect to getting into a partnership and a relationship with Be Clean. The people that are employed with Be Clean are fantastic individuals and there's that special caring that they have and, and the attribute to, to the business, but also to, to the people themselves. So I, I can't say enough about Be Clean and the people that are, are in Be Clean. You know, it's, it's been a great relationship to date. It is the Big Clean family, and I feel proud to be part of it. We always train them, and I had too many of my heavy duties while working as a building operators, and I'm proud of them, including my own son that came to work as a, a day porter or helping in the summertime. He's with Dream now, and I'm so proud of it. Uh, every time I walk in a building and they, they say hi to me, I'm proud of them. That makes me to keep going. It's good. I feel good. <laughs> Lewis is one of the examples. He said, thank you so much for allowing me to go into this new role with Dream because it gave me an opportunity for my family to be better in life. And he's also trying to train other people how to do the service. So I I I'm very proud of him. I see the potential on him. Every day he asks me for work for other people because they said with you, they have more opportunities. And that makes me proud of him, like that he's doing the same thing I did with him, he's doing with other people. You know, as, as an Indigenous person, being a former leader in my community, a chief and a council member, is something very dear to me with respect to providing opportunities for our Indigenous people. What Be Clean brought to the table is allowed us to participate by developing the joint venture, allowing us to participate in industry immediately. You know, we came to the, this this perfect partnership. At this particular time, we brought Dream to Papase because we have a partnership there. And uh, it benefits the community, it benefits the province. Going forward, the idea that we'll be able to tap into some of the people from that First Nation that are living in the Toronto area, and they'll be able to be part of the family. And then Sandy and Norma are able to work with them and, and help build them up. So that's why I love Be Clean. You know, prior to even uh, the Truth and Reconciliation report coming out, you know, Be Clean uh, had said that this is the right thing to do. You know, it's become diverse and, and diverse they are. To establish a Indigenous procurement strategy, you know, the model that, that Be Clean established was education, training and employment, community investment, entrepreneurship, and procurement. So allowing communities to participate immediately and taking a look at having that capacity to ensure that they participate, bringing that knowledge in and ensuring that there is success. It's bigger than, than one can really see in front of us. And uh, certainly as we go down this road and, and continue to build a strategy, you know, we can, we can only see those benefits coming. And that's what keeps me going. Uh, and ensuring that you know my grandchildren have that opportunity 
And, uh, uh, you know, certainly all we want is a quality of life, no different than any other individual, you know, a quality of life in our communities, quality of life, you know, uh, uh, you know, we want to be active participants in this province and this great nation that we call Canada. For me, 10 years from now, if I can look back and see five or six successful entrepreneurs, and success doesn't necessarily mean becoming huge, but earning enough to be able to support their community and support their network of Indigenous people that are working for them, I think that would be a good goal for us.